Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Kaylin Alex. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my absolute favorite items currently. I'm even going to venture to say, since I got them, these are probably going to be all-time favorites. <laughs> but for sure, right now, these are items that I am literally obsessed with. Some of which I actually have and own. And then some of the items are items that I have been seeing on other people. And I'm like, oh, I love... I'm trying to wait a little bit to see if it's really love or am I just seeing it. But for the most part, I feel like these are items that I'm heavily considering purchasing um, just because it's been long enough and I feel like I need them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So I'm going to kind of like section the video off in categories. You know, that's kind of like my vibe. I like to <laughs> do things in categories for whatever reason. So the first category I'm going to start with are or is jewelry. I have been building my jewelry collection. I am very, very, very much so loving jewelry at the moment. It's like what I want to spend all of my money on. <laughs> And now that I have not been into jewelry, but it's just like lately it has literally been my obsession. Like I want all kinds of jewelry, all kinds of different pieces, all kinds of different like a variety of items. Like I want it all at this point. <laughs> so the first item I'm going to mention are my idol earrings. These are the studs that you guys saw me unbox a little while ago. I'll link the video so you can go back and look at that. I love these earrings. I knew from the moment that I got them that I was gonna be obsessed with them. I have not taken them out since I got them pretty much. I mean, I've taken them out for like a few days at a time, but just to like switch and put on another pair of earrings. Um, but for the most part, these are the earrings that I have been wearing every day in the shower, working out, going to the grocery store, just sitting around the house. Like I have not taken them out. I love them. And I knew that once I got a pair of diamond studs, like just plain studs, I was never going to take them out <laughs> because number one, to get them on and off, it is like, it's a little, it's a little much. Okay. That's a bit much is very, is me exaggerating the safety little click on them does its job. I'll leave it at that. Um, I do add the add-on that I got to them sometimes if I want to like change the look out, uh, change the look of the earring. But for the most part, I just wear the studs every day. Um, and I have really, 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 really been enjoying them. They still shine so bright, even though I've been showering with them and getting them wet. Um, but they still shine. I haven't had to like clean them. Uh, as often which is a plus I mean I just got them but they still look great I love them and I love them because they're studs they're you know understated they're not too big but they still give me that look that if I don't have on clothes or I'm not like put together I still look a little bit like I tried because I have on some accessories and it's just it's just an added plus I love them highly recommend the next item that I'm going to mention is my Van Cleef Freevol <laughs> necklace within the emerald with the emerald um, piece in the middle. When I tell you, I feel like, and this is the smaller one. I want to say it's a sweet. I'm not sure they call it the sweet. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But I feel like I get more compliments on this necklace than I do any of my other jewelry. Um, this necklace has definitely been a conversation starter and I honestly, I didn't really expect it because it is a smaller one, but I guess you don't really see it too often. And then the emerald just kind of like pops out as well. So it adds a little bit of more of a eye catching factor, a little wow factor, if you will. And I just get so many compliments on it. I get so many people asking about it. Um, and who've said that they've had it on their wish list or that they like it and just to see it, they're like, okay, no, that that's it. I honestly, I am quite shocked. <laughs> 
at how much attention this necklace gets but at the same time it's like I get it because it's been my favorite my favorite piece I've been loving it so much that I have not been wanting to <laughs> Take it in to get lengthened because it needs to be lengthened so bad because it kind of flips sometimes um, when I'm wearing it or moving around, it flips up a little bit. But I know that when I drop it off to be lengthened, it's gonna take a few weeks and I just don't wanna part ways with it for that, for that amount of time. But honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it over with before um, a year comes around and I forget, so there's that. The next category that I'm gonna talk about are shoes. Y'all know that I am a shoe girl. I love me some shoes. I feel like a nice pair of shoes goes a long way and takes an outfit from zero to 100 real quick. Like, I just feel like shoes are one of the best accessories when it comes to putting an outfit together. Like, I'll center around a whole outfit based on one pair of shoes I want. That's how much I love shoes. So let's just get started. So the first pair of shoes that I have been loving are a pair of shoes from Kendall Miles. Now these shoes, I was very, very excited to receive. Um, Kendall Miles is a black owned, female owned and operated shoe company that is just so amazing. They have some of the most beautiful shoes that I have ever seen. I'm sure you've seen them all over Instagram because they're pretty hot. <laughs> They are a luxury brand made in Italy um, in the same factories as some of our favorite high-end designers, which I absolutely love. I even absolutely love the fact that it is black owned, black female owned and operating. So I'll just go ahead and start showing you the shoes. Um, they come with this little card, the thank you card, a dust bag, and the shoes that I got, I got the Malibu Mills and Cherry Blossom. I, oh my God, look at this shoe, y'all. So cute. And you guys know that pink is my absolute favorite color. But I love that this pink isn't like a, it's more, it, it reminds me more of a nude Kind of pink like it's more soft so i can wear it with um i feel like i can wear it with a few more things than if it was like a pink pink like a hot pink or something of course it does has have the hot pink um sole around the edge of the top of it but for the most part i feel like this is a shoe that is a little bit more versatile at least against my um complexion or on me it seems a bit more nude uh, and it's so cute like i love the the fact that the heel height is also not too tall it's a very comfortable shoe i was very excited about this shoe because it is one of their new releases um it comes in a few different colors i did get my true european size which is a 39 it fits perfect um i love that there is this little gold detail with kendall miles on the bottom of the shoe and it's just like a super, super cute, easy, effortless shoe. I feel like it can go with so many outfits and so many different things. You can put it on with a dress, jeans, or, you know, a skirt. It can be dressed up or dressed down. It's just that classic, almost like barely there style sandal, but in a mule. I do live in a place that doesn't get too cold. So I feel like I can pass with wearing this in the cooler months so this gives me year-round wear when it comes to this shoe i will have a discount code linked down below for you guys as well as the direct link for this shoe or for you to shop around and see if there's something else you like because they have quite a few pairs of shoes that i have had my eyes on for a little minute now <laughs> so you guys can shop those i have a link down below and you can save a little coin as well the next pair of shoes, or I'll say the next brand I have on the list is Valentino. Valentino is doing a thing right now for me. Um, and I have just been loving a lot from the fashion house. So of course their platforms are really like snatching me up right now <laughs> in all different kinds. I do have the pump already, which I absolutely love. I have had my eye on the peep toe since before it was released, like officially when we just previewed it. I was like, I need that. Specifically in the gold. Now, I have been on the search for a gold platform pump. 
um, because I don't have one and I really, really want one. I am so mad that I missed out on the uh, Saint Laurent, I believe it's the either the Bianca or the Paige um, one that did come out in the gold. I'm so sad that I, I did not get it and I to this day regret it. But since then, I have been on the search for the perfect gold pump that gives me that vibe or like something similar to that. And when I seen the Valentino one, I was like, this is it. This is a shoe that I have been waiting on. This is a shoe that I have been wanting. Now, I have only seen this um, particular one in photos, so I've not seen it in person. But from the photos that I've seen, I'm like, this is a perfect gold. It's not, it doesn't look too much, but it doesn't look like super muted or cheesy. Like I said, I have to see it in person to see what it's given when I see it in my face and on my foot. But as of right now, that gold shoe is speaking to my soul. Like, I feel like I need that gold pump. And especially because I've been wanting uh, the, a gold platform since way back then. And the fact that it's come out now, I feel like I feel like this is my time. Especially because platforms are, are making their way right now. It's the perfect time for me to get them. The next pair of shoes are the... Tango boots. Now, we've been seeing this boot everywhere. Everywhere because we've been seeing the platforms, the Valentino platforms in general everywhere. But I feel like we're coming into fall and we're going to be seeing this boot a whole lot more. And I'm like having FOMO because I'm like, I need to get it before it sells out. And I always like to purchase my things like a season ahead if it's something that I know is going to be popular. I like to go ahead and purchase it because when it's time to purchase the item and to wear it, it's is usually not there and if it is it's extremely hard to get and there's probably some markup on it if you have to go through a shopper or something like that so i kind of like to get things before the season drop i mean before the season comes when it comes to items that i know are popular and this is one of those items now the last category that i have are going to be handbags of course because i love me a good handbag too now surprisingly this category is kind of short for me and it doesn't really house some of my absolute favorites I know, I know, shocker. But I feel like these are pieces that I have been wanting for a little while and I've been seeing them a little bit more. I'm having a FOMO moment, so I'm kind of like, I feel like I really just need to go ahead and do it. So the first bag is gonna be the Bottega Jody bag, the smaller one in the rope detail version with the double knots in the nude color. I have been really wanting this bag. I've been seeing it a lot lately and I don't know if it's because I've been wanting it a little bit more so I'm paying attention to it a little bit more lately, but I don't know. I've been wanting this bag since I since it first came out and I held off because you guys know I've talked about the Bottega Mini Jodies for a while and I kind of was like on the fence like I really do like the bag, but I don't know how well I will love it in 5 to 10 years, so I kind of like held off on it well i still have that urge i still like the bag and i still feel like it's something that i could wear because it doesn't have logos on it and it's not it doesn't have any of the hardware kind of visible like it's it's versatile so i can wear with different things with respect to the color of course but i just feel like it's one of those understated bags that I need and desire in my collection. Now, of course, the woven style, we know the bag is Bottega, we know that it is Bottega, but it's not like, it's not like Bottega is written on the bag, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's just one of those muted, kind of more toned down bags that I feel like I've been wanting and needing in my collection. And this particular one is a little bit different. <laughs> so, I feel like the rope detail makes it a little bit more fun, but still like it makes it fun, but it can still go with an outfit and you can tell that it is a bit serious. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a good balance for me. I feel like the nude color is, is more toned down, which makes it a little bit more serious if you will tone down but then the rope detailing of it the double knot gives it that pop and that wow factor that i feel like can make a, a basic toned down outfit a little bit more elevated if that makes sense but i've been wanting this bag 
and I've been seeing a lot recently and I'm like maybe this is just my sign and I need to just go ahead and get it it is super hard to find right now I don't know if it's gonna be one of the bags that we don't see again but I know that I am feeling like I really like this bag and I feel like in five years I could I would still wear it and feel as good about having it especially because it's been this long and I still feel the same way the last bag that I have on the list is the Saint Laurent I Care Jumbo Extra Large Tote. This bag, I really, really, really like. I feel like it's so versatile because although it's huge, it's gigantic, which I feel like could be a turn off for some people. I feel like it still can be worn every day. I still feel like it's one of those bags that is just like a hobo style bag that you can wear every day and it not be as obnoxious as we see traditionally with some large totes. I feel like this one kind of like, it, it gets a little past. Maybe because it's the leather that is kind of, it's not so structured. You can fold it in and wear it under your arm. The straps aren't long. It's kind of like attached in the bag or in the design of the bag. So it has like a different vibe to it. It's more of a purse or like it could be an everyday bag. Um, but you can also use it to like travel or if you're needing to carry a lot of things for whatever reason, this bag can do that. And I've just really been liking it. Now, the crazy thing about this is it's already increased in price, which kind of blows my mind because the bag hasn't even been out that long for us to have already seen a price increase. It's crazy. We ain't talking about price increases today, but I just thought that was crazy. Um, but I still do like the bag. I am feel like it's versatile enough to say that it is still worth it. And this is one that I also have really, really had my eye on because I've been needing a bigger tote um, for traveling and moving around here and there. So I've been needing something a little bit more larger. And this has definitely been one that I'm like, I can see myself. So actually the last category is gonna be perfume. And I have only one in this category right now because it's what I've been wearing pretty much consistently and only. <laughs> it's gonna be these Louis Vuitton Symphony perfume. This, this literally smells amazing. I get so many compliments on this perfume. I get so many questions on this perfume whenever I wear it. <laughs> I was, I remember I was in the store, I forget which store, one of my client advisors was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? Like, I don't mean to sound like weird, but you smell really good. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, thank you. It was this perfume. It literally is not harsh. It's not like too strong. A little goes a long way, but it's not overpowering. It reminds me of a beach, but it gives that feminine, tropical, citrus, airy, fragrance but it has lasting power the it is very concentrated it is from one of their limited edition collaborations which i've talked about we've talked chatted about this before i believe it is still available if it is i would highly recommend i believe there were there was a few different ones that came with the collab but this one is by far my favorite and i feel like this is a crowd favorite as well <laughs> if you can get your hands on this Please go get it. Go smell it. I highly recommend it. It is literally my favorite and I've been wearing it every day. Like I've had to stop myself from wearing it because I don't want to number one, run out of it. And number two, I don't want to get tired of it because I just love it so much. So that has been my go-to perfume for sure. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, drop a nice comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I post again, and I will see you in the next video.